I'm going to 100% Honkai Star Rail's Herda Space Station missions. I'm loving this game, so you should click my link in the description to go to this video sponsor, Epic Games Store, where you can download Honkai Star Rail for free and add me as a friend. I just woke up in a space station with my new friends, Don Hung and March 7th. Yes, she's named after the day, March 7th. But we'll find out why later, because right now we're being invaded. Like two of my favorite RPGs, the weaknesses turn order and and skill points are displayed similar to Octopath Traveler, and every character has a type-like Pokemon that can deal super effective damage breaking them. My avatar is physical, while March 7th is an Ice-type Archer. And then there's Don Hung with a spear powered by wind. Shortly after, we make it to the main control room where we meet Himeko. Asta, the lead astronomer, and a Digimon? Terriermon, is that you? Oh shoot, the space station has been breached by what is literally called the Doomsday Beast. Where's Superman when you need him? All right, team, it's time to become men of steel ourselves with our first boss fight. The monster deals heavy blows by swinging its hands at us. Thankfully, its left side is weak to wind and its center is fragile to physical attacks. You'd think I'd have March aim for the right hand since it's weak to ice, but she's my only support in the party so I have her shield my friends instead. However, Himeko is the star of this battle. She's only temporarily on the team, but with every spot being susceptible to fire, her AoE special attack proves why she's a 5-star character. Now this may be a turn-based game, but there's also ultimates that when charged up, can be activated even if it's the opponent's turn. I'm a fire in my laser! <laughs> She just sent a freaking nuke from outer space. Can you top that, March? Check out this awesome move. <laughs> that freeze effect will for sure come in handy, even if it was a little more grounded. Then all I do for mine is make my back glow and swing it. Now that the hands and engine are broken down, it's time for an onslaught of attacks to strike it where it hurts. Just gotta go through it all one more time. The Doomsday Beast responds with a ruthless multi-beam attack putting us in peril. And it doesn't stop. The rampage keeps coming, leaving three of us in the red. I have no way to heal either, which means I assign March 7th to strictly be on shielding duty. A few turns later, Doomsday releases the massive super attack once again. March's shield saved the others, but she could not save herself. Self. The sacrifice was not in vain though, since it gave us enough time to deplete Doomsday's outer protection, allowing us to finish off the antimatter being once and for all. It's gonna blow! <sighs> I can't resist the urge to simp! Now something's wrong with me. Am I gonna blow up this place now? Or not. I guess I'm weak to canes. Putting my life on the line was worth it, because shortly after waking up, March 7th gave me her number. I still got that Riz. Unfortunately, not enough to keep Himeko from leaving. Which is where warps come into play. Using Star Rail Passes summons the Digimon from earlier to present you items or a character. In this case, Asta, who you'll guarantee pull on your first warp. You should also check your mail to receive Serval for free and the busted 5-star Doctor Ratio, who's only free for a limited time. Then there's the robotic puppet, Herta, who's been working on a unique project. I call it the metaverse. Are you Mark Zuckerberg in disguise? You know, you could be getting yourself into a nasty copyright lawsuit. Then let's call it the simulated universe. It's a roguelike game mode that features a few areas to get through with a boss at the end. For every battle you win during it, you get to choose one of three buffs that stay with you the rest of the run. Beat it once and you'll be awarded Herda for free. Honkai Star Rail's 2.1 update just added the new 5-star Acheron and 4-star Gallagher. Before using Star Rail passes to obtain them, the game does offer a way to try them out first, where you can not only fight a T-Rex wearing a chef hat, but can also see the Galaxy Ranger's lightning attacks at work inflicting debuffs. Instead of charged energy, she preys on stacks from the debuffs, to which she then annihilates the dinosaur cooks with massive damage, completely ignoring what the enemy is weak to. Plus, you get rewards just for trying the character. Oh yeah, and be sure to use the following code on the Epic Games Store to get 50 stellar jades to help you out with your polls. I myself was able to secure Gallagher after a few attempts, which is just what my team needed. A drinksmith that heals with soda. He's also got a sick AoE ultimate where he uses fire to grow claws similar to how Gambit powers up Wolverine's claws. Back to the story. I decide to hop aboard the Astral Express with the others to help eliminate threats throughout the galaxy and to maybe find out more about myself and why I woke up here. 
What? Who said that? Oh my gosh, it's that Digimon again. Apparently, this thing is the conductor of this galactic train and is named Pom Pom. Hey, Pom Pom, where's March 7th's room? Oh? Why are you interested in her room? Uh, no reason. Ugh, what am I doing? This is so weird, breaking in when she's not here. Do I have no friends? Oh, wait, I don't have any friends. Add me, people. Plus, you also get free PC games every Thursday. While waiting for the train to take off, I daydream wondering who I really am. When all of a sudden, March interrupts my trance. She finally tells me her backstory, how she was stuck in a block of ice drifting through space and has no recollection of who she is. March 7th was the day she was found, so that's been her name name since. Pom Pom then informs us the Express is going to jump into hyperspace. Next stop is Planet Eurelo 6, a world that is becoming frozen due to Stellaron being there. All we know about Stellarons is one was implanted in me before I awoke back at the space station. Speaking of the space station, Eurelo 6 is gonna have to wait because I left some missions unattended back there. I also kicked Don Hung off the team. Sorry, Dr. Ratio is a five star that smacks books at the baddies and has an even stronger single target skill attack that can be followed up with even more damage. Anywho, after protecting researchers from more invaders, I scan things for them, then follow a puppy to help Asta figure out where her friend is. Instead, the dog took me to this guy who makes my avatar say, Wow, the cringe is strong. Ah, there's Asta's friend trying to take on a mutant creature. Drop a pillar on it with your ultimate, Dr. Ratio. Arlen has been saved. The following quests then have me complete a list of tasks ranging from stopping gossip, telling this man, Bro, you are very romantic. Helping a lost boomer who is having tech issues, spying on some employees, they can totally see me. I better hide behind that plant. This isn't about me, and that is debatable, and I have a personality. Whereas you, yes, Andy? Ow. Sitting on a toilet. Sitting on a toilet. Sitting on a toilet. And people here love to quote Star Wars. It's a trap. I got a bad feeling about this. The third last space station mission has to do with these boos. I mean, wubba boos. Specifically, this King Wubba Boo who needs help fending off a monster. I start off strong with a book to their face. And Dr. Ratio's imaginary typing happens to be super effective against their centaur leader. However, I overextended myself. Half of my squad was brought below half HP from just one attack each. And I can only heal once per turn. I tried shielding with March, but it was no use. She got entangled, slowing her down, then got got knocked out the next turn followed by everyone else soon after. Soda Man can't carry the team alone, but you know what can? A little leveling up and switching to March in the overworld. She's got a talent that lets her fire ice arrows from outside of battle, immediately freezing an enemy at the beginning of the encounter. March 7th also has a passive ability that whenever one of her shields is inflicted by an opponent, she'll counterattack with a chance of freeze. Instead of healing, I had Gallagher break the creatures on the sides with flame kicks, which left my supporter defenseless, but Dr. Ratio was able to finish off a goon and Gallagher kept hitting their weak spots. With only one foe left, it was much more manageable to regenerate health, healing once each turn while also being attacked once each turn. GG, you wubba-boo scarer! Now to decipher who the real researcher is and who is the fake. The latter is actually a foreign creature called a Xenohydro that can replicate the appearance of other people, even me. The bad news is the only type I have super effective against Against it is fire my healer who generally doesn't attack the good news is it's one versus four and dr ratio's ultimate leads into lots of follow-up attacks if his allies also go after the same target coincidentally gallagher finished off the xeno hydro while i do the mission of solving puzzles by filling up the tile boards only touching each of them once i ask you to please click my link in the description to go to this video sponsor epic game store where you can add me as a friend and download honkai star rail for free. And that's how I 100%ed the Herd of Space Station missions. I'm already well into the Yurilo 6 story and plan to go all the way into the 2.1 update that has added even more story along with another new character being added in mid-April. That being Aventurine, a 5 star who specializes in team survival by providing special shields. You all have a good one. Thanks.